Design automation has finally arrived in the cloud. Phew. For years at trade shows and conferences, I heard that the cloud was going to revolutionize chip design as we know it. So now that it's here, what now? What if we could make the cloud work for us even better than it does now? What if we could tailor the cloud to meet our needs instead of the other way around? Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. The adoption of the cloud in the design automation industry has encouraged innovation across the entire semiconductor life cycle. In this episode of Chalk Talk, I sit down with Vikram Bhatia from Synopsys and discuss how Synopsys is redefining EDA in the cloud with the industry's first complete browser-based EDA as a service cloud platform. We also explore the benefits that this on-demand, pay-per-use, web-based portal can bring to your next design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Synopsys. Hi, Vikram. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Amelia. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you for asking. Okay, so we're talking all about the adoption, enhancements, and evolution of Synopsys Cloud today. But Vikram, before we get started, what all will we be covering today? Amelia, thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'm going to talk about one year of Synopsys Cloud. I'm going to mention what is Synopsys Cloud, get into the details of that, and then I'm going to talk about what's new, what's coming, and what's exciting. And while doing this, I want to mention what we have seen over the last one year, how customers have leveraged Synopsys Cloud to drive production chip design workloads and tape outs. Fantastic. Okay, Vikram, let's start with the first year of Synopsys Cloud. What's changed since its inception? I think I should first set the stage and describe what is Synopsys Cloud for our viewers. Synopsys Cloud is a completely browser-based EDA as a service cloud platform. And we designed this about two and a half years ago, trying to understand what is it that customers need, chip designers, engineers, when they are looking at enabling or building a new chip on the cloud. Based on inputs and feedback we received from our customers who were already adopting cloud or looking at adopting cloud over a period of time, we came up with an architecture that supports different types of customers at different stages of their cloud journey. And what you see here is a description of how you can deploy chip design tools on the cloud depending on where you are. There are designers who are already using public cloud platforms today to build and design their chips. And then there are designers who are completely all in the cloud, or there are startups who haven't started yet, and they are looking for a solution that supports them end to end. In building this completely browser-based EDA as a service platform, we took into account not only the various stages of cloud adoption journey a customer would be, but also looking at what size of a design team the customer has. Synopsys Cloud is the industry's first SaaS solution. And what that means is it's software as a service. You get everything you need to build and design your chip from the ground up. In March 2022, we had release two, and then we released a third version of Synopsys Cloud. This was a major improvement enhancement based on inputs and feedback we received from customers. And now we are just releasing version four of Synopsys Cloud, and I'm going to talk about what's in there and what's coming. Fantastic. Now, Vikram, let's talk about that Flex EDA business model. I'm really interested on in how this could change EDA project management. Absolutely. Based on what we have learned from our customers, this Flex EDA business model is a game changer. And this is one of the core values that customers derive from this platform. So the Flex EDA business model enables users and designers to be able to not worry about predicting their usage in advance. It's a true paper use model. It enables EDA design tools to be available based on a per hour or per minute metered pricing. What this model does is 
removes the requirement for somebody to worry about how many licenses they have in order to design their chips. Synopsys Cloud is designed in such a way that it enables unlimited access to licenses for designers. They can just decide how big of a job they want to run. And when the job is running, depending on how long it took the job to run, they pay for exactly that amount of usage. Now, depending on the tools, it could be per hour or per minute. What that means is if a job runs, let's assume for three hours, customers only pay for as many licenses as they need it for those three hours. And if the job ran for a few minutes, customers only pay for that amount. Now within Synopsys Cloud, the traditional licensing model is also available. In case a customer wants to enable certain prepaid licenses into their flows, they can buy what we call CSLs or cloud subscription licenses. And what this does is enables customers to use all EDA tools available from Synopsys on this cloud platform and also adjust to the change that a pay-per-use model brings in slowly. The FlexEDA model is a very simple model. There is one cloud contract that a customer needs to sign and only one thing uh, that a customer needs to buy, which is what we call Synopsys Cloud Credits. And all tools are available to be used against that budget of cloud credits as and when they need it on demand and the system makes those available when the customer actually initiates a chip design job or decides to procure specific cloud subscription licenses or CSLs. That makes sense. Now, Vikram, can you provide some more details about the different deployment options you have here? We enable our customers to do what we call BYOC or bring your own cloud. And this is for customers who are currently leveraging public clouds themselves. The Synopsys Cloud BYOC option is available across the top three cloud providers, which is Microsoft Azure, Amazon, Web Services, and Google Cloud. It's something that enables customers to very easily deploy Synopsys Cloud with the Flex EDM model without worrying about making any change to the way they use our tools today. So in this setup, a customer is still running their own cloud environment on any of these three cloud providers. All they need to do is connect that environment to Synopsys Cloud. And once the connectivity is established, customers can start leveraging the pay-per-use FlexEDA business model. There's no change to the tools or the binaries they use. There's no change to their scripts or their flows and everything works as it is. What customers do get is access to the Synopsys Cloud Portal where they can log in and see and track their usage. There's extensive analytics available for customers to see that. So Vikram, what about SaaS? How is it different from BYOC and who is it for? SaaS is actually designed as an all-in-one usage model. This is, I believe, the true game changer from a technology perspective, how it enables chip designers to do everything they need to do from a browser window. Once customers create a SaaS deployment on Synopsys Cloud, they actually get access to everything they need. So it's not just Synopsys EDA tools, but it's also access to infrastructure, compute, storage, network, access to uh, managed scheduling, all of the licenses are deployed automatically, managed automatically. Customers can manage their users and uh, be able to leverage what we call apps versus instances. Now, this is a new concept we introduced for SaaS. What it does is enables customers to deploy simple point tools, like if they want to do verification or timing analysis or library characterization only for a particular job, or they can leverage what we call instances. We have enabled three different types of instances today, digital, analog, and verification instance. And what these are are pre-configured end-to-end flows that are already set up for the customers to start using. Enabling these instances has been one of the most used or leveraged capability on Synopsys Cloud. It reduces customer setup time from weeks to hours in terms of how soon they can get up and running on Synopsys Cloud. Now, typically, customers who prefer this environment don't have IT environments or big IT shops or don't have on-premises data centers because they don't need it. They can do everything in the cloud directly. 
typically a customer who's trying to set up their own cloud environment has to first enable all of their networking, then enable the tool binaries, any PDKs they want to bring in, and which could end up taking weeks or sometimes months. On Synopsys Cloud, because everything is pre-configured, you can actually come in and set up everything in a couple of hours and get going with your chip design project. Fantastic. Now, Vikram, what does the adoption of Synopsys Cloud look like? Now, we have enabled our entire EDA portfolio on Synopsys Cloud today. Many of our flagship tools are available under the pay-per-use model, and everything else is available under the CSL pricing model. Not only are all the tools available, we have the top major foundries enabled on Synopsys Cloud today. We have worked very closely with these foundries to ensure that customers can bring in their PDKs and leverage them directly on Synopsys Cloud without having to worry about integration or enablement or legal requirements for the ability to leverage third-party PDKs on Synopsys Cloud. Global foundries, TSMC, Tower, and Samsung are enabled today and customers can leverage this and are leveraging this on Synopsys Cloud. As far as customer adoption goes, we have customers across the spectrum varying from size, different sizes, for example, very small startups to very large customers such as Cisco and Estrella Labs. And then we have customers across the spectrum of chips that they are developing on Synopsys Cloud ranging from automotive, data center, FPGA, to networking, today doing production jobs and tape outs on Synopsys Cloud. So Vikram, what does the Synopsys Cloud dashboard look like? Yeah, one of the core values that customers derive from a platform like this, where you are leveraging tools on an ongoing on-demand basis, is the ability to be able to look back and see how you have used those tools. And this information is made available through very extensive charts and reports which a customer can download. So which tools used for how long, which jobs took how long, how much infrastructure, compute, storage, et cetera, you're using, how many cores you're leveraging, which user is using what type of tools and for how long and at what capacity, at what scale, all of this information is available through the Synopsys Cloud Portal for customers to leverage. CAD managers actually find this information very useful because it helps them plan ahead for the next project or the next workload that they're going to deploy for an existing project. So within the first year, Vikram, what kind of feedback did you guys get from the users of Synopsys Cloud? So we had many learnings over the last 12 months from customers who leverage it. So Flex EDA is a hit. Customers have now gotten used to what they can do with unlimited access to licenses. This was never the case. So this is something that's truly transforming how customers and users start thinking about doing chip design on the cloud. And this business model gives customers the ability to scale as they grow. What that means, is especially for smaller customers, they can start small, run just one particular workload or one particular task in their chip design project. But once that is done and complete, and if they want to add more, they can come in anytime and add more cloud credits and start using different tools or doing different types of jobs the other advantage that customers have told us they have derived from Synopsys Cloud is the reduction in time to tape out. The amount of time that they typically take versus what Synopsys Cloud enables, the differential is huge. You can reduce your jobs from weeks to days or days to hours. And that is possible because you're no longer limited by licenses that you had to buy a year or two years in advance you can actually get on and run a job with as many licenses as you need. And if the job only runs for a few hours, you know you're going to pay only for a few hours, but you can complete a much bigger job in that time frame by using more copies of that particular tool and still not worry about prepaying in advance and being committed to a set number of licenses. For customers who use BYOC, the typically leveraged cloud to burst for peak usage in a very seamless manner. 
because it does not require the customer to change anything on the use model, on how they deploy their jobs today, how the flows are set up, what kind of scripts they use. None of that changes. In order for them to switch from an existing licensing model that they have to uh, the Synopsys Cloud Flex CDA paper use model, all they need to do is just change an environment variable before they fire their script the system automatically sets them up to leverage the paper use business model. So the time to market or time to tape out advantage from Synopsys Cloud is huge and it's highly appreciated by existing customers. The third piece is the user experience itself. What the Synopsys Cloud architecture enables for customers is no longer having to manage licenses. This is a big deal. The amount of time CAD managers or sometimes chip designers themselves spend on license management can now be utilized for doing what they know best, which is designing chips. This has been one of the great values that our users today tell us they're deriving from Synopsys Cloud. With Bring Your Own Cloud, the advantage users are seeing is they can build their own flows. Many complex chips require mixed vendor flows and they use tools from different providers. With a bring your own cloud model, you can actually do that on Synopsys Cloud without worrying about making any changes to what you have been doing traditionally. SaaS also offers pre-optimized compute options and pre-configured flows. And both of these are inputs we received from customers that they value tremendously. What our customers have asked us over the last 12 months in terms of new enhancements or changes or improvements they want to see to make their life easier and make Synopsys Cloud a more friendly platform. One of the key things they ask for is the ability to be able to control user level budgets, um, be able to manage which user gets to use what type of tool or how much of that tool because they are no longer managing licenses. This is unique and different for them and they have asked for these controls. Customers have also asked us to enable different types of hybrid workflows. If they're using something on premises and now they want to burst to cloud or leverage compute or tools in the cloud using our FlexCDM model, they should be able to do that seamlessly from on-prem. Customers have asked us again and again to help them control cloud infrastructure costs. Sometimes, depending on the scale at which they're running or the complexity of the chip that they're designing, these costs can run into millions of dollars per month. And any help that we can provide in terms of reducing that cost is a big ask. And it goes a long way for them to actually save that money and spend that amount on building the chip faster or hiring more engineers to enable better, more complex chips faster. There is a continuous ask about enabling third-party tools, which is something that we are looking at. And then customers have asked us about automation with compute cluster provisioning, especially in SaaS. What this means is the user should not worry about managing the compute cluster, turning it on, turning it off, figuring out which tool should run on which cluster, and the system should be able to do it automatically. Some of the announcements or enhancement that we are making now are based on this feedback that we have received from customers. All right. So Vikram, let's head into the future. Where is Synopsys Cloud headed? Yes, this is the exciting part. So over the next few months, we are going to release some major enhancements on Synopsys Cloud. We want to make sure that the innovation we drove a year ago with the release of Synopsys Cloud continues. We are always on the cutting edge of what's happening both on the cloud infrastructure side as well as on the EDA software side for our customers. Now for customers who've been using cloud for a while to run their EDA software workloads, one of the big asks is to help them reduce costs. And most of the costs coming from cloud infrastructure can be reduced if customers start using spot virtual machines. Basically, when cloud providers have excess capacity, they put that capacity on what is called the spot market. And on the spot market, the same compute virtual machine that you would typically buy on what is called an on-demand model is available at heavily discounted prices, sometimes up to 80%. But running EDA workloads on spot is a huge challenge. 
because the catch with spot is the cloud provider may take those virtual machines away. So they send a terminate signal and they give a very short notice on when they'll take it away. And that is why you get such discounted prices. What customers have asked us is, how can I leverage Spot for EDA software, especially the high memory tools where the short notice that they get, in the case of AWS, for example, that notice is only two minutes. How do they ensure that their jobs that are running, the time is not lost, the data that they produce is not lost, and the jobs continue to run, even when a Spot virtual machine is taken away by the cloud provider? We started working on this solution um, six months ago, and we have tested it extensively on several different tools. And we have enabled this solution outside of the tool itself, working on the infrastructure side. We built an architecture where we have what we call an optimized virtual machine array for each type of tool. And what that array includes is a mix of spot and on-demand virtual machines and the system automatically is able to move a running job from a spot VM onto an on-demand virtual machine within the array using this technology. This technology uses machine learning to predict when terminate signal is expected from the cloud provider way in advance, sometimes 20 to 30 minutes in advance, and make the move so that the job continues to run. It's a very unique solution, and we believe this is going to add a lot of value for our customers. All right, so Vikram, beyond the spot-optimized Synopsys Cloud, do you guys have anything else planned for this time frame? Absolutely. We are announcing release 4.0 of Synopsys Cloud. This is going to be available in April 23. Some of the key capabilities that we are adding with this release include e-commerce, what we are doing is enabling the ability for customers to purchase CSL licenses on demand from within the cloud portal when they're in their cloud contract. Now, typically customers get into a cloud contract for multi-year terms and they don't know a year, two years in advance what type of tools they need. This solution eliminates the need for customers to actually leverage licenses when they have no idea when they're going to need it. Customers can log into the portal anytime and enable licenses for a duration of few months to longer terms directly from within the portal. The licenses are activated instantly and they're available for the customer to use within a few minutes. Customers can also add more budget to their environments and this helps them leverage what we call scale as you grow functionality within the portal. So customers can start very small and then add more cloud credits as and when they need any time. Whatever customers add is immediately available for customers to use. And we are enabling Zebu Cloud, Synopsys Cloud integration through the Zebu Cloud SaaS Burst solution with this release we are enabling customers to allocate specific budget quotas, both at user level and beyond at a larger scale, which user can use what tool and at what capacity, all of that can be controlled by the CAD manager within Synopsys Cloud. Users can also download granular usage reports and get as detailed information as they need for their own analysis to develop business insights now from within Synopsys Cloud. So Vikram, I'm also really interested in that Zebu Cloud SaaS burst you mentioned. Can you give me some details about that as well? Absolutely. So Zebu Cloud SaaS burst solution actually enables customers of Zebu Cloud to leverage Synopsys Cloud for large scale compile jobs that they are limited to today based on compute capacity. Typically in emulation, designers use Zebu for runtime but for compile jobs, they leverage standard hardware. And they're limited by the capacity of this hardware that they have purchased in advance for Zebu Cloud. With this new solution, they're no longer dependent on that hardware. So they can offload all of the compile jobs to Synopsys Cloud and leverage the unlimited capacity, both compute as well as licenses that are available on the cloud to run as many compiled jobs as they need simultaneously and then bring the data back for runtime on the Zebu Cloud machine. Now this is easier said than done. 
and we created an architecture which ensures that all of the pieces needed to make something like this happen, including network setup, compute capacity itself, the data synchronization between Zebu Cloud and Synopsys Cloud, and license management is taken care of automatically. It makes it very easy for users who are limited to running maybe only one compile job a day, now can run multiple and speed up their chip design process and emulation workloads while using Zebu Cloud. Typically on a cloud platform, once you start a cluster, you start paying the cloud provider for that compute. For chip designers, they typically only want to pay when they have a job running and they don't want to pay for compute time when there is no job running. Now with this solution, what we have enabled is what we call dynamic provisioning of clusters. The cluster automatically turns on when a job is scheduled and is running and automatically turns off when the job completes. This saves a lot of time and effort for designers who don't want to manage infrastructure, but focus on the chip design job itself. Added to this, we also released capabilities for creating heterogeneous clusters. For a complex chip design flow, where there are multiple tools involved, different tools are optimized for different types of compute virtual machines, you can actually create a heterogeneous cluster with multiple different compute virtual machines in that cluster. And once a complex flow is submitted to this cluster, the system ensures that only the virtual machine type, which is needed and optimized for that specific tool in the flow is running, and when that job finishes and the flow moves to the next tool in the next job, the next different type of VM, which is optimized for the next tool, turns on and the earlier virtual machine, which was running, turns off automatically. This automation helps chip designers to completely stop worrying about how much money they are being charged while using those clusters, but focus completely on the type of job they want to run and be able to build complex flows and run them on Synopsys Cloud without worrying about paying too much. All right, Vikram, this has been a lot to take in today. Can you recap your main points for me? Absolutely. So Synopsys Cloud accelerates customers' journey towards tape out. And we do this by leveraging the scalability and elasticity the cloud provides, not only for compute infrastructure, but also for EDA software. Synopsys Cloud also ensures that customers are no longer limited by the number of licenses they have or the licenses that they can afford or manage license servers at all. Everything is enabled on demand within Synopsys Cloud. It also offers a lot of flexibility, flexibility in terms of which tools they want to use for how long with the Flex EDM model, Flexibility in terms of deployment options, whether they want to bring their own cloud or leverage SaaS and get everything from Synopsys, and the ability to be able to run any tool at any time or any scale. Synopsys Cloud transforms the user experience in terms of how they manage their cloud environments, what they can control, what they want to run, without worrying about making drastic changes to the tools themselves or to their flows or scripts. With SaaS, the user experience goes to the next level because they no longer have to worry about setting up the flows, optimizing compute for the flows, and do everything from within the browser-based portal. There is absolutely no learning curve. And all of these advantages add up into a highly reduced time to tape out for our customers. Synopsys Cloud ensures that customers do not have to worry about the time and effort they need to spend in setting up their cloud environment and get up and running very quickly and save a lot of time in their chip design lifecycle. Synopsys Cloud is available for free for customers to try. They can go to synopsys.com slash cloud and sign up for a free evaluation. Excellent. Well, Vikram, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much, Amelia. Thanks a lot, guys. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Synopsys. 
For Chalk Talk, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talk section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.